dear god, it's a lot of damage. What? Chop Rocket. Chop Rocket, and you're still really far behind. You're still taking eight. You're still taking... No. No. <laughs> Turn three, Leafa. Watch this. <laughs> Get wrecked. What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today I'm really excited to show you this Nightcap Buff Swarm deck where I am non-ironically, this is not a joke, I'm running four copies of Buff Shroom and three copies of Punish Room. Uh, just the idea of this deck is to swarm the field as fast as possible and I realize Nightcap's powers are so good for this because the Mush Boom removes one of their minions, gets insane value, one of the better powers in the game, and puts a, a, a mushroom, a powerful mushroom, at least that turn, which you can buff. You got more Spore, which will create two guys, which are both mushrooms, super important, and you have Stormfront. And this is probably the most powerful card in this deck because it gives all your plans 1-1. One, one. This gives you so much momentum. You are spamming Shroom for two on turn one in this deck. I was originally running Lime of Pluridon. Uh, I'm experimenting now with Blooming Heart. You play this on the field. On turn two, and you can play this together even with a uh, Puff Shroom on turn one, which is incredible and really, really hard to counter, even if your opponent has Vats or Summoning or something like that. It's not going to take out this ever-growing minion. Uh, you can play, again, Shroom for two on turn one, Buff Shroom on two, Buff Shroom on three. You can go Buff Shroom on two, and then a second Buff Shroom and Rain power on turn three. You can, there's so many things you can do with this. Even just like Shroom for two on one, Puff Shroom, Buff Shroom on turn two is you have four two twos on the field. Uh, you're really setting up your minions. You're going to be playing them close together, so you're able to get a lot of value out of the Cro-Magnolia. You're typically actually playing this instead of in the back uh, side of a team up, but putting on the front side. Since this has four health, it'll keep your guys on the field. This will usually survive, and you're going to keep on keep keep that damage just pressing onto your opponent. This deck is relentless, and the amount of time you get an amazing super hand, uh, amazing starting hand is just really, really high. And if you don't have an amazing starting hand, that means you have Pine Clones here. You're definitely going to be able to take over in the mid game just by making a setup play on turn three, let's say with Raptors, uh, and then hitting them with the Pine, you know, maybe the turn before you put a Shroom for two on the field, you'll have something, uh, and then just go, let's say, Puff Shroom, Pine Clone. There's so many possibilities in this deck. The reason I'm only running three Pine Clones instead of four, I, I have to explain a little bit more because this deck looks like I just threw a whole bunch of Swarmy cards. This was actually really calculates. So let me tell you a few of the calculations in this deck. Uh, and then we're going to get into the game. So the reason I'm only running three Pine Clones is, first of all, because we're running Cro-Magnolia. So once you've used this, the Pine Clone does get less value. But don't be afraid. Like, if you have this Cro-Magnolia, you've set up your Shroom for Two and your Puff Shrooms, and your guys only have one health, and you feel like your opponent might make a field clear play. Let's say you're against Z-Mech, and you're going to proc their block eventually. Get field cleared. Maybe chickening's not so common, but let's say they have... Um, uh, let's say they're going to teleport in a barrel or something. It really depends on what your matchup is. Uh, you're afraid of Acid Rain, for example, against the heroes who the zombie heroes that have that. Pine Clone, even reducing the attack of your guys but making them all into solid 3-3s, three uh, is, is, is very often worth it. Only thing you really have to dodge in this deck is going to be Extinction Event against Pine Clone. Uh, so you definitely don't play into that since we're not running Molecale. You can't really fix that problem afterwards unless you chrome but it's still not worth it. Um, so the idea, again, if the, the way that since this deck swarms so hard the first couple like really one on turns one and two and even to turn three uh your opponent is gonna have a very hard time controlling you which they have to do because it's so fast controlling you with tricks they're gonna have to stick minions in front of your lanes and that's a really important thing i started to understand about this deck is that the way you control again is by fronting it especially if that's something like fire rooster but even like putting little imps and stuff in front of your guys well it'll kill your front team up because you have a lot of double stack minions here and then it blocks the back one too and that really slows the stack uh, uh down enough in order for your opponent uh, to be able to come back into the game. So if they are fronting your minions, the two best things you can have are Punish Room, because that will ensure that, first of all, the Punish Room can clear lanes in front of your later lanes if you're putting this all the way on the right, and that will actually clear a lane very often for you to be able to hit face. Very important to be hitting face as often as possible. Uh, and the second card is Banana Bomb. Everyone was asking me right before I started this intro, how come you're not running Berry Blast in this deck? Why is it Banana Bomb? And I'll tell you, it's because you are not burning sun in this deck. You are using every last sun you have for the first four turns. You really, because that, that's the whole idea. And Berry Blast costing two is not as good as Banana Bomb costing one. Again, if they put one very big minion 
uh, in front of your guys. They're going to be too slow. You're going to be doing too much damage to their face. Their best shot is putting small minions that will die uh, to banana. Usually, again, usually their good banana bomb is going to be good enough to get the job done. And that enables you to have one extra sun to be committing into that turn. For example, on turn four, like you can Crow Magnolia and banana bomb and clear up a whole lane. That banana bomb sometimes represents eight damage. If that had been a berry blast, it, you would you would have to only play berry blast and then make a less sun a offensive play. Uh, again, this is a uh, in my opinion, in this deck, because your minions are doing so much damage and lane clear is so important, this is the better card. Uh, I am running Punishroom. This is able to clear lanes. It is Finisher. It is a Bullseye. You have plenty of Mushroom targets, so you can get a ton of value of this in the Lakin. We're going to keep an eye on the Punishrooms and see... Uh, I'm, I'm not sorry, on the Gloom Shrooms and see how important they are. It really could be it's worth it to take this out and put in Sonic Bloom. I was running Sonic Bloom before and it didn't seem like it was getting enough value. It felt like I actually ended up taking out the Sonic Blooms. I wasn't running Berry Blast either. They're running like two. I took out the two Sonic Blooms and the two Berry Blasts, putting four Banana Bombs, because I really felt like that is what the deck uh, was actually missing. Let's see how this deck does, though. Enough talk, guys. Let's get into the games. Uh, I've been really, really impressed with my experience with this deck so far, just the few games I've played off stream. Now, we're starting the predictions. If you believe in this deck, then vote yes. That means the deck will go at least eight and two, vote yes. If you think it'll win seven out of 10 games or fewer, Seven and three or, or less, then vote no. The voting starts now for the next five minutes. Enjoy being addicted to gambling your channel points over here on the live stream at twitch.tv forward slash fry em up. Uh, this seems like a really good card that's on curve, but we're actually looking for something to buff these mushrooms. So we're either looking for a Chromag or a buff shroom. So this is the first thing I'm getting rid of. This is a heck of a hand. This is a heck of a hand. Oh, this is so good. I wonder how greedy I'm going to get. I think I'm going to Sonic Bloom on one. Set this on two, and then we're going to go with something on three. Who knows what power we have? Stormfront. Guys, this is going to be nuts. This is going to be so nuts. I think I'm just going face here, too, bro. Okay, so if we if we plays Barrel... All right, this is going here. I'm going face. Let's go. Do you think Sizzle should be able to go face? Yes. If anything, ours is probably more powerful than this at this point. We'll have to be careful. It's, it, we're really just reacting to what he does here. If he plays a gravestone, like a main pirate, I might go for Stormfront. Because this is four damage. This is crazy. If he puts up one here, I'm Stormfronting this turn, by the way. We don't have to wait to get the... Don't be too greedy on the Stormfront. You can Stormfront on two. It'll be fine. His one cost powers are Bungie Plumber. She is sad here. I don't have a double shroom for two play here at all. I don't have it. So I think I'm storm fronting, and it also does play around shroom for two. I'll put these together and just to open up the potential Chromag down the line. It probably won't matter. Trapper territory is an option. I could also just go face here. Face for four damage or, or kill a con man. I'm gonna basically have three. I could have three threes next turn. I, I'm gonna front this. Please, please let me play. Please, no! Okay. The timer. Okay, I had a, a quarter of the time. So that's the whole game right there. I, I should almost just. Just quit this and start over. I had a quarter of the timer left and it went while the animation of the Shroom for 2 was going. I freaking hate how inconsistent that is. It's not even fair. I mean, we'll get it. We'll have a good play this turn, but it's not as good. I'm so upset right now. <laughs> It's got to be main pirate, right? I actually want... This is going to be so good. I, I, I want something to actually come off the field here, so I'm just going to shoot for two buff trim. I'll save the storm for, for next turn. This is actually fine. We're actually in a winning position. doesn't actually matter what this is. Nah. 
We, oh, I forgot. Okay, this yeah, this will die. It's okay. We're still good. He doesn't have a field. And we have a really good play coming up. So this more likely is to live. It's also his bullseye and I like it. Look how strong this is. Line dance. Strong play, but I don't think it's strong enough. It's gonna be really, really hard for him to come back here still. Line dancing's good though. Okay, the blocks. Still okay. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> this is just the tempo play we needed. Even Pine Clone would not have been bad. Uh, you know, Gloomshim would have been the best thing here. Let's keep going. And a one health. So we'll, he'll have to take three minions out without playing a, a, a non gravestone. Oh, that's good. This is fine. Why do you use deadly for a card? He's not gonna. <laughs> it's not gonna get value out of it. Lanes for a second. I think so, right? I think so. Banana bomb, not getting it. This is Berry Blast. Obviously, would be way better here than Banana Bomb. So, eating myself a little bit against Pyro. Against he hasn't played a non gravestone since the beginning of the game. So, the moment he plays a non gravestone, this will be fine. There's another card for us. What? Why did he not go for the block? Well, he, okay, he needs Infinity Clones, and he needs it to block the... Bro. Yes, we win. He should have... He should have... I don't know. Uh, I don't know. We're down to four. I don't know. Anyway, see ya. All right, despite our complete blunder on turn two running out of the block meter time... We still had more than enough to take out Infinity Pirates, by the way, is the deck we just beat, with an insanely good starting hand. He had Con Man on one, Con Man on two, Grave Robber, Grave Robber main pirate on three. It's, it, it was, we got him, boys. <sighs> Maybe that was his only chance of winning, was actually activating that pirate. It could be that was the thing, he just wouldn't have had enough power. I don't know, wait for Cowboy, I don't know. Okay. How to mulligan this hand? I don't see any mushrooms yet, which is making me think that the Chromag is worse. I think I'm just anyway just going for early game. I love to keep Krokan. Okay, I'm getting rid of Banana Bomb. We need more power. So one, two, three, four should be okay. This is decent against Super Brains. Two and a <laughs> My gosh, we're having another one of those streams. Rusty. Again, against Super Brains doesn't make a difference, but we're definitely going more Chromag than we are Raptors here, for example. This is not a necessarily a good card against Rust Bolt. Chromag is insanely good. Come on, come on. I don't see the Chromag happening here, though. I might actually get rid of Buff Room. Well, in this hand. 
Yeah, I think we need another. Okay, that's. I think that's. I think that's good. The card we're actually gonna probably cover is the Astro Shroom. That's interesting. I wonder how good Gladiator is against this deck. It might be really good. So we're always playing the Sun Heights. I might just go Astro Shroom. It doesn't matter the order anymore. We'll see what we get here, too. Every card you top deck ends up basically playable on I me, mean, unless it's a Plank Clone or a Gloom Shroom here. Oh boy! <laughs> Puff Shroom, easily the most powerful card in this deck. He's probably going through for Escape Through Time or Beam Me Up are, my, are the two guesses here. So against Beam Me Up, it's probably these two. If he's going for Escape Through Time, I'll, I think I'll just blow this next turn. So I'm going to play... I'm going to play... Playing around Beam Me Up. Okay, so I, I think this... I think it's like this. And we have to still play for the cry. I know this this absorbed a bunch of damage, so we definitely got value out of that. Beam me up is sad here. In a in an escape through time scenario, we'll blow and just play whatever we tap deck. Oh, so this dies. Okay. And in a cryo brain scenario, this guy is so done. Rustful cannot deal with this Chromag. He can't. What is he going to do? What is he going to do? If his chop is one of his starting powers, that will take care of one quarter of the problem here. So that's the play. Dear God, that's a lot of damage. What? Chop Rocket. Chop Rocket, and you're still really far behind. You're still taking eight. You're still taking... No. No. <laughs> Turn three, Lethal, watch this. <laughs> Get wrecked. Got like double encrypt. I think that guy was done when the game started. I don't know, he was running, man. Turn, he's like, oh, Gladiator will protect. Turn one Gladiator, guys, listen to this deck. Turn two, Cryo Brain, and then you can thinking cap on turn three, and the Gladiator still is uh, keeping you protected. Anyway. Um, okay, so we want... Are we doing this on one against Smash? <sighs> if we get a buff room, this is all of a sudden... I'm keeping this and I'm ditching, a, I'm ditching one of these. We're looking for a buffing card. This is so strong. In fact, I'm getting rid of a shroom for two now. I need a card that buffs our minions. That's fine. That's a hand. That's a, that is a hand. Developing Shroom for 2 on turn 1 in this deck. Live and die with the non-existent Fire Rooster because it's Smash. I don't even think Chickening's slows us. It's too slow. And it doesn't kill every minion on the field. You know, Chickening would have to turn 4. You have to kill everything I've played to that point to survive. And it's just not going to happen. We also have a, a, a combo, theoretically... So he, he goes dry. Alright, so this is when we do this play. Banana Bomb, a thousand times better than Barry. If you think of how much impact this that having this Poison Shroom already, besides for the damage it does this turn, the amount of impact this is going to have on this game, the Banana Bomb was definitely better there than the Clean Berry Blast. Because we get to develop an entirely, entirely second minion here. Gosh, the Buff Shroom is, is real. So we can go really greedy buff shroom. This is even more greedy. I think it's just Chromag. And we'll take the six damage and let this die. The other play is just shroom buff. Shroom buff shroom ain't bad though. I could just go the tempo play here. He might buff this. Should I go the tempo play? I kind of like it actually. Uh, I think this is good, actually. 
because this does four instead of six. Thank you so much to the fat cat for ten months. The question is the lane. It's probably better to buff. It's hard to say. It's really hard to say. I'm just thinking about the crow magnets here. This is. At the end of the day, we didn't. We burned the sun there, but we are on turn three with 10 10 worth of stats on the field. That's an okay play, but it actually keeps our guys alive. He blocks, rules a three. So the crow mag actually wouldn't have gotten any value just considering that. The frenzy doesn't do a damn thing there. So the best scenario is getting a one drop, then we can crow mag this buff room. It's a one drop. <laughs> Dead as hair. Uh it's like this. Like like wait a second. Eight, nine, ten. Oh I should probably go face here. And, and Banana Bomb. I should probably go face here. And Banana Bomb. For eight. We'll take we'll take the we'll take the the, the, the ten damage this turn. They they, they all hits two. I think this uh, I think with the warlord this is the better play. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Thank you, Side Tank. And we give him one of these. It makes the, the team up a little awkward next turn, but I think it's worth it. I'm just uh, looking block meter. He rolled a two and a three. That hurts, but some pretty good command of this game. Not the top deck we wanted. Play. We'll banana bomb next turn. We never burn the mana because we're on five now. Yeah. So this impacts the board next turn. It's, it's a terrible play, but we have enough on the field already that I think we're good. Five brains, do your worst, okay? That's huge. Uh, Axolomo, thank you for gifting to Wyvern. This goes here. Nice play. <laughs> he is protected! Warlord stays. Ah, uh, so Banana Bomb doesn't do anything anymore. Two. One. Best thing we can get is a Punish Room. Oh, this Pine Clone would have been okay here, actually. We're actually just don't, don't even have a turn anymore. We're just at the mercy of his tricks. Going viral is not what he wanted there. He's looking for an answer. He's di digging for it. Alien news. He's still dead. It's guaranteed. Oh, uh, no. He needs double threes now. Bruh. Bruh. Okay. Okay. I'm done with this game. I'm done, guys. What the... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? The banana bomb gets value. <laughs> That's a pretty damn good play. Oh! This game's still in the bag, I know, but <laughs> it's just so stupid. <laughs> it's so stupid. I'm impatient. See ya. Banana bomb in his face. That's a great play. Got him a house. Pine clone's good. Thank you, Shrimpsy. Shrimp, shrimp spy. Welcome to the Prime Lane with that free Prime sub. Okay, cards we have to keep an eye on are Astro Shroom, Pine Clone, and Gloom Shroom. We haven't gotten Gloom Shroom yet. We also haven't gotten Punish Shroom, which is something I wanted to show you, but it just hasn't happened yet. Do you guys get the, the mindset? You're, you're mulliganing for turns one and two, and you're so far ahead that who the heck is going to catch up with you? And turn three of so many options of staying ahead. Chromag, Punish Room, a combo play with Buff Shroom, or just Raptor. It's just such a hard card to control. It gets out of control. Fry Me, his name is. 
Mindset. We're going for the real quick play. We don't need the, don't need the Raptors. Oh my dear god. <laughs> Against an Imtex will be good. Do we keep the Shroom for a 2 here? Uh, the only card that would be playable is Buff Shroom. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep the Shroom for 2. Oh my goodness gracious. Holy freaking hell. What is going on? <laughs> Guys, look at this. Who can... Who can... What? Think of a deck in the game that can beat this. Unless he gets fight, unless he has fire rooster in his hand, that would be amazing. I can't deal with fire rooster, man. I ain't messing with that car, okay? What do we go with here? I'm almost hoping for another one drop. Dear God. Weed spray doesn't do anything. We have Chromag. Weed spray. If they are play for turn three, weed spray, they you lose most of the time. We also have Buff Shroom Rain, like we have in our hand. We also have Buff Shroom on two, Buff Shroom on three. Weed spray is not even, it's not even a, a thing. So it's got to just be Buff Shroom, right? I'm doing way more damage than he is this turn. We <laughs> man go face. Mango and face. This is fine. Block at some point, please. He hit us four times without blocking. This is all right. We've hit him two times. <laughs> we'll probably block him the third. I mean, I'm just trying to be realistic here. Okay, so if he puts a minion, especially if it's a gravestone, maybe we go Punisher. I I'm just uh, really afraid of this. Well, against the line dancing zombie, huh? Huh. Well, we're doing more damage because his is split into into two lanes. Ours is into one. That's why it it is way more damage if you consider how how much block charge this gives us. <sighs> we're not in a good situation. I think I have to buff him here to play around flame face. So I'm pretty sure it is like this. It's not what I wanted because he's had the infinity clones. It really, actually, does present a problem. Cause the best thing you want is a bunch of two ones. The line dancing zombie, we're screwed. If it's pirate, though, we're good. We are good if it's pirate. Let's go, mush boom. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> he has no field. He has no field. We have five guys. Oh my gosh, we have so many. I might just go punish him rain, by the way. He doesn't have any powers to help him here, by the way. He can take an extra. Okay, we can't even make a play anymore. Oh, great. Damn it, that was actually a really good crit. It plays around Pine Clone. Top deck Pro Mag, let's go. It's fine. We have a turn five Pine Clone just raining here. Bruh, <laughs> that was a really good crit. <laughs> he has no powers that help him. The roll. Barole officer. This does not self-buff. I feel like back in the day when Headstone Carver self-buffed when it came out of an encrypt, things would have been different. Make the rain! Let's go win this trade. Let's go. So we'll either go for the Pine Clone or the Punish. We'll just have to look at what he plays. See ya. I'm thinking Punisher. That's what happens here. The Pine Clone saves this. It's probably a Flame Face. Cool. So it's either eight pine clones. I feel like the punish room against flame face, which is what he needs to even survive here. Um, I, me thinks this is better. Because we need to be able to block damage this turn. And this will essentially just do that.
It's flame face. We need some good punish rooms. Punish room's getting a ton of value here though. So we'll hit him four times in the first two lanes. Should be enough. See ya. See ya. See ya. Face. Okay. Weathered the storm. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Uh, just have to have no more uh, line dancing zombies, it's like the thing, you know? We'll, um, run whatever he plays and line dancing strike through. Pass? Fruitcake, bungee plumber, trapper are the three things we're dodging here. No, pine clones, pine clones gotta be the play. Wrath to face. <laughs> Double bungee does not save him here. Double bungee to face anyway. The, 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 in case he somehow controls this with like double fruitcake, the Gloomstream is better next turn. This is also just better against. No, 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 no. Rolls a three. Okay, he's done. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. And we're beating him. We beat two Infinity Pirates with this deck, guys. It's not even built to counter Infinity. In fact, if anything, that's one of the worst matchups because of Flame Face and Line Dancing. Now, the Line Dancing Zombie was in the, that Flame Face, too. It was effective. Man, that Punisher. Like, imagine that Punisher versus Pine Clone. The Punisher was so much better there. So we're, we're... Are we four or five now? It's four, right? Wait. Ah! Is it, we're, we're four. It's four now. Checking the YouTube stream, okay. Guys, this is good. <laughs> we're back to, to set one, where everyone just spam mushrooms. This is basically what we're back to. Against HG, you want the cro -Mag, not the Pine Clone, because you're not worried about field clear, so... Does that change it? Does that change it? Because we can't... Well... Ah! Fine. I think this is good. Oh, the blow is good. I think I'm playing this on one. I know it's a little odd. Again, against a gravestone on two, this is too slow. This actually really sucks. But if we get another one drop, it'll actually get four bullseye to face. So it's good enough. And HE again doesn't control this, so... Do we have 500 viewers on Twitch right now? <laughs> 490. No bad. Okay, how do we play around Beam Me Up? What's the efficient play here too, man? I mean, we'll have a, a we'll have we're spending our Beam Me Up is sad no matter what we do here, but we're we're spending our sun more efficiently by doing this. I think I'm going buff shroom. Me thinks we're going buff shroom here. It's also better against teleport and like an imp or something. He probably has nothing. <laughs> Who runs beamy? He's probably it's probably gonna be cryo brain, and this also theoretically does set up the the um the pine clone battle. We're, these are gonna be pine clones, so the temporary one one buff is not as significant as if we didn't have pine clone. It's cryo brain. Told you. Yay. <laughs> this, is so, this is so good. It doesn't matter what he plays as long as it's not a great. What the heck? He thinking? Are we doing the thinking cap thing? Okay, we're, we're calculating the block meter for next turn already because we want the team up lane to hit. So statistically, this hits. He'll come in next turn with a full block meter. Especially putting this here so we can more certainly proc the block before the double pine clone hits. See ya. See ya. I know I'm sweating like I'm playing a tiny... <laughs> so far we've read him like a book. <laughs> I cry over brain thinking cap. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, he, okay, he's gonna get double Z-Max Super. It's not even gonna do anything either. Make a play, bro. And it's Pine Clone time. <laughs> In fact, maybe he'll block and then California roll and actually block this. Backup dancers. Oh. And deadly. Are you kidding me? 
It's still not great. Okay, we need to roll one now. Or just proc the block in the next turn. He thinking captain to back. Oh my dear god. Backup dancers deadly was his superpowers. That really might have been the best thing. Well, double Z-Max Super was, was, would be better. Still. I don't care. I don't care. About your mom. See ya. Uh, me thinks it's fine, huh? I just need three plus three, so there's no point in developing these. <laughs> More like cry slow, Yeti. Man's frozen in his own tracks. Starting superpower is... Is teleportation station. It's guaranteed lethal. What do you know? La-dee-da-da-da. -da -da. <laughs> Lesson never bet against Fry. Yeah, suddenly extinction event. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Why is no one running late game cards with Nightcap? I think he like Brainana Molecule or something. I did do a Pinecone Brainana deck like last week that went like 10 and 0, but I, I think this one's more consistent. Definitely get rid of second Pinecone. Ooh, I'm not feeling the starting hand here. I think it gets especially against Rustball. I think I'm just getting rid of you. This is pretty cringe. It's not a great hand. I, we did what? But again, this is the scenario where you don't have the good starting hand. But in a normal deck, in a normal matchup, I'd be dreamed. I dream to have this hand. This is like a really good setup on turn four, three. Take the board over on turn four. We're gonna top deck some more. We're gonna top deck two cards between now and turn three. So the setup is actually gonna end up being insane. Ah, uh, the punishroom's really not worth it. And I'll kind of play around weed spray and stuff. I might spam this on three. Cryo brain. That's good. All things can say again. If we had an early game, we actually would basically have won the game by now. I'm serious. These banana bombs, man. Uh, so it's probably actually just, just, uh... Well, that's probably Teleportation Zombie. What else would it be? Chemist? <laughs> Against Chemist, this is not... It's kind of bad. But against Teleportation Zombie, we really want to do this so we have an opportunity to take it out. Teleportation Zombie can pose problems for this deck. We have like a triple play against it. Uh, well, well, we'll team up Pine Clones against Teleportation Zombie. I think this is okay. There. Depends what he has. I wasn't expecting Gentleman. Beat Me Up is decent here. Oh. Kind of a cringe gentleman, not gonna lie. So this just this, this is just a pine. Ah, <laughs> uh, changing plans. Well, we could pine clone this turn and then and then chromag on top of it. We can like mushboom chromag, or we can chromag first and then pine clone. It's boom, setup. Hit the setup, do a ton of damage to his face. That's tough. I don't know if I want to. Well, the gentleman's in trouble. It's it's four pine clones. I'm keeping the resources. I also lose on the punish room. No, I think I'm actually doing this play. Do it quickly though, Fry. Do it quickly. Do it quickly. Do it quickly. Do it quickly. Oh, this should have gone... No, I think this... Well, uh, no, this should have gone here. Well, it's okay. It's okay. This is 9 damage, by the way, with the Mushroom. Uh, yeah, this is a 100% Kabloom deck. I'm doing it with Nightcap because of the superpowers. Uh, go face. That was, a, that was a chop on a one drop, essentially. That one's going face. This is fine. I know Pine Clone is a little sad here, but... 
It's okay. Oof. Uh, mm. Play around Rocket, probably? Yeah, this is fine. I don't even know what I'm worrying about. It's sad that we weren't able to banana bomb something here, but uh, they really wouldn't have made a difference. A 3-3 three, three is good. Okay, gosh. <laughs> it's a slow bolt. Rust bolt. I'm trying to go fast. It's not working. The pine cone is fine. It's two extra 3-3s three, on the field. And this got reduced slightly. This Again, the difference between this being a 4-3 and a 3-3 is probably just not getting rocketed. It, it doesn't really end up making a difference here. Most likely. There's two more 3-3s. Three and these, these, this stats save the save. We sacrificed a 1-1. One, one. Totally fine. Bruh. <laughs> these banana bombs are useless. But at the end of the day, if we can't banana bomb, he can't control us. What? Yeah, put it here. Wait, be quiet. They're rolling stuff outside. What is in this gravestone? Is there? A, could there be a frenzy in here? Gentleman zombie going viral? No. What the heck is this? I'm not even blocking this. I'd rather the blocking their charge. Can he move something? He's a kind of smoke bomb. What is this? I'm very confused. It's it's probably John. I'm just passing, man. Suddenly, Abracadaver. This was his MP guy, by the way. So he just he's like, yeah, I have minions. I'll put them on the. Why would he not block? This is a perfect trade. It buffs your guy and make sure you don't die this turn. What was this play? It's cringing up, but then what? That's what happens when someone plays triplication. They make plays like this now. Who we'll even runs triplication? <laughs> this is this is so bad. <laughs> I think it's Falcon worthy. Uh, we are six and now, guys. He's not the California rolling. It's called dumb luck. The early days of the game when I was trying to climb the ranks against deck after deck of mushrooms. Or maybe I am just having hallucinations. This deck is insanely set one. It doesn't actually work without the Chrome Eggs, to be perfectly honest, but... This deck is very, very set one, I agree with you. Drink 20, so... Drink 20's high. <laughs> we'll cover his rank during the fail comp anyway. <laughs> Bruh. Zebra. Holy moly with that. I probably should, um... Uh... I should probably... All right, I'm just writing down a highlight intro idea. All right. It's getting hot in here. Becky, let me smack. Uno, dos, tres. This also gets interesting depending on which power we get. I'll keep this in. I I'm still not so sure about these Aster Shooms. It's kind of... It's not a whole lot of... Really? Um, so it's like this, actually. Ah! Yeah, that's fine. This is okay. It's so funny how I'm making like a little bit of like a face that I have to sack a whole minion that's gonna... But it's actually fine. He plays a dry minion here too. Okay, so... I think I'm gonna play on the ground because I very likely wanna end up covering this buff room. I'm just, I'll just play on the ground. He has 
like one environment like black hole that doesn't do anything here which this is okay that's okay so he uses his two drops to get rid of my one drop essentially he still made the right play but we'll see what we get see every every single turn you just top deck another resource <laughs> it's insanity and his extinction event also is less active what is he if you play around wheat spray we could just go for a 4-4 four, four here smash superpower This will be decent next turn. That obviously this is a little this is a bit sad. It's essentially just adding 2-2 two, two, but bulls out like a 2-2 two, two team up to the field. Well, extra health. Well. I saw Extinction Event. I think he's gonna I think he's playing for weed spray. I, I don't understand the turn three pass here at all. So I'm gonna play I can't if I if he if we play these two and he weed sprays, we lose the game. There's Alien News. Maybe I should just pass there. I think that was fine. So I'm developing one of these. We'll at least draw out his weed spray. I made the right decision last turn. Oof. Okay. Uh, this is scary. He has three cards, but if any of them cost five or more, we're going to need our gloom shrooms sooner than later here. What the? Oh, just this guy. Okay, I'm not playing around second weed spray. He goes on heights. Control smash. It could be control smash with extinction event and with weed spray is actually and black hole and flick is actually the exact counter to this deck. It could be that's how this is beat. So and rolling a bunch of threes. This is the top deck of the century. We have to play this on the ground though. He'll probably just locust this though, man. I I don't like I don't we're probably actually done. He probably just wins. As long as he has late game. No! <laughs> he doesn't have a hard removal card, which means he's probably not gonna have one either. And if he plays a guard, if he plays a guard, he's done. Give me a card. It's fine. What is he doing? What is he doing? Okay. Whoops. Was that smart? Well, it was. Weed sprays again? Well, I should play around second weed spray. Okay. That reduces two damage. That's why you don't play that on heights. The moment he plays a minion, we just could blow it. Flick. So we're doing four. Nibble. It just means fewer resources in his hand. Uh. Another gloom, as many gloom streams as we can get. Oh, that sucks. Pass. Okay. <laughs> so it's really about how many gloom streams we get, because we're not—he's not gonna be proccing our block. There's another one. Zombot, Zombot, and two is a decent player. Another alien news would be good. We don't cover it. It's fine. We have this blow, which is nice. Uh, this guy's late game is so far way, way less scary than I was imagining. I feel like if he had Zombot, he would have played it already. This thing's right, these gloom shrooms. Third gloom shroom? <laughs> So five, six, seven, eight. Ugh, the block meter. In fact, it's better just not to proc his block here at all. So this is gonna do five, six, seven. Or should I try to proc his block here? We don't have, I mean, we have lethal if it's, 
Oh, I can actually put the buff shroom here and then put the puff shroom behind. And then it hits and pro Oh, this is actually a really, a really good play. Oh, this actually is the play. It's behind. And I put this here. And this ensures that even if he doesn't, if we roll well, we're good. We have a chance at lethal. It's a small chance, but it's a chance. Thomas, you don't have an answer to this anymore. If we don't get Leepa, uh, that wasn't a good. Okay, he'll be down to one. Actually, no, that Undying Pharaoh is going to be impossible to deal with next turn, so we kind of need this now. Rolls a one. Roll. <laughs> Rolls a two. That actually was a misplay. I should not have been that greedy. I should have waited one more turn, done four damage bullseye. He wasn't going to have an answer to it. Um, and then blown the Undying Pharaoh next turn. Do the same Banana Bumble. Because if we didn't get it, and he played Undying, then we, we lose the game, because there's literally no card in our deck that can deal with Undying Pharaoh. Even another Gloomstream doesn't deal with it. We would actually... That was a complete misplay, and I got 100% lucky. <laughs> I was there. I was, like, thinking, like, oh, it, you know, I was thinking, oh, he's going to proc the block. Oh, but it's not going to proc the block, because the Gloomstream, even if he rolled a 2 and a 2 there, for example... The Gloomstream damage would have gone through because it's Bullseye and it's in the front. Um, it, only the back one procs the blocks, the front damage goes in through, which is how it works. Front, front before back. But, like, no, the Undying Pharaoh was, was the problem there. <laughs> that was a stupid idea. Okay. Looking for power. <laughs> I think I'm even committing this already. Do we keep the Pine Claw? Oof. Oof. There's there's very few cards that are actually worse than Pine Clone in this in this hand, so uh, and that's the only one. Okay, well, well we're, again, by the time turn three comes around, we're drawing two more cards. So this is fine. Okay, this is a problem. This is a problem. I think we have to remove that as soon as humanly possible. Teacher really might end up posing a problem because then he'll actually be able to, to get us with tricks. No buff. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, we have blow at least. I don't like our chance, especially it's Gloom Shroom. This is not good. Ooh, I think it's just Buff Shroom. He only has two cards left in hand, so even if he spends a Rolling Stone here, we have to be able to blow that teacher next turn. And he's not going to be committing me. He just The fact that he only has two cards makes this the play. This is correct. Well, we, we need... Because if we end up blowing the Cheese Cutter, it's terrible. He probably doesn't have an answer, by the way. Okay. Come on. Okay. He gets a card, a very powerful card. Well, his super... You're right, well, he didn't commit a superpower last turn. So, Smash, Heal would not have done anything, Frenzy would have done it, and Galvanize would have done it. So he always... He always has an answer. I really do not like our position right now. But we have to prevent him from drawing more. I think the, the Gloomstream can actually get us back into this game. We're gonna do some combo with Blow next turn, and then we're gonna Gloomstream on five. It should be okay. What what gourmet card did he get? He got bonus attack to face. He probably is not gonna do an extra five. That's nice. Uh, the more Spore goes... No, it doesn't matter. Let's just buff this. We'll play this next turn. There's really, unless we tap deck a pine clone, this is always gonna just be better next turn. This is too. It's fine. So we'll blow first. No, it's fine. He doesn't have tricks. Not getting value anymore. So we blow first. I'll probably team up against this one. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> so. <laughs> I 
don't think weed spray does enough anymore. You always put the team up behind. He has a teacher and one mystery card in his hand. We're good. This Gloomstrom's gonna win us the game, even though it was so sad at the beginning. Because if he goes after blocking us, that's an okay play. If he goes, he's probably gonna go face, and I'm probably gonna Gloomstrom in three and four is my guess. But we can also open up this lane, and this is probably lethal. Two. Teach what? No, let's play. Oh, on this. Oh, it moves where? Eh, in front is good. We opened up the lane. We have a two thirds of chance of winning on the spot. That going viral kills the Gloom Shroom. But it just means he's going to be in a roll of trouble next turn. Let's go. <laughs> it's finally working. It's my first time I've sweat this hard in a stream and it's actually working. That's the bets, by the way. I'll just cash that in here. Choose prediction outcome. Did we win at least eight games? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yes. That's right, we won eight games. We still got two more to go. Easy. I'm telling you, the deck is so good. I gotta, I gotta start testing this one against the uh, against Tala Imp. It's, it's gonna be fine. Let's we'll see how this works. It has Pine Clone too, guys. It's the greatest day ever. I, I'm just keeping this hand against Brain Freeze. I'm not worried about him gaining value on this on turn one or two. Actually, like he's gonna monkey pirate it. Yeah. Um. I might go with the shrooms. Man, what about Acid Rain? Acid Rain scares me. It's for me is actually one of the scariest powers. It kills Pine Clone in conjunction with Extinction Event. Conjunction, junction! The problem is if we play this into Acid Rain, we're done. I mean, there's only a... What's the chances of something landing on heights? It's about... 50% chance of at least one landing on heights? Against Nibble, this is better against Nibble. Against everything that's not Acid Rain, and also it, both of them have to land on the ground. That's fine. This is always better. Acid Rain, Acid Rain. Yay. Acid rain, acid rain. You're upset you keep losing bets. How about try voting with me instead of against me every time? Oh, snap! <laughs> the man is toxic. This is when a, um... Banana Bomb are and, and Punish Room are the two answers we have to this going on. I'm playing this here in case we tap like a Punish Room. This says, please go in. Yes. Yeah. I don't care what you get. Seriously, I don't care. That's, this is too slow. Top deck Banana Bomb or Gloom Shroom or Punish Room are so good. Oh. It's kind of harsh too, not going to lie. Probably actually going to go with this. Hmm. I mean, this is an extra Pine Clone for next turn, but this is also an extra Pine Clone. Screw it. This will probably be, anyway, do, like, ending damage in the late game. This is okay. This also does more damage this turn. A lot more. Oh, yeah. Oh, but we don't have a lane. Wait. Oh, this dying is important so we can Pine Clone. What? I blundered. I blundered. We need this to die. Oh, Raptors was, of course, Raptors was the play. We need a Cro-Mag. We need one. Or a Banana Bomb. That doesn't help at all. Three, four, five. It's okay. It's slow, but it's fine. All my units were three, three. 
No, so it's a 2 2. Get frozen! He ain't drawing nothing. So far, he's got no value out of this. Zero. Buff was the plan. Oh, <laughs> I bet we're going with this now. You betcha. You bet, you bet your bottom dollar we going with this one. Well, I don't know what I'm saying. L yes. L -E oh, wait. L yes. L yes. L yes. And L. Uh, yes. Like this. Like this. Uh, I guess against Toxic Waste and probably the 4-4 four -four in the back. <laughs> As I was saying. We 9-0, boys. Boy. Guys, we're back to set one with this deck. I'm serious. This is so good. This is so good. Thank you to Samen, by the way, who gave me the general idea. Again, I, I this is a different deck than what he was running. I'm doing things with Raptors and Punish Rooms, which really haven't even... I, the Punish Room was good, really good one time today. But uh, this general idea came from Samen. He actually adapted that from Psycho Pine Clones when I started running the Chromax. So, uh, Oh, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, it's a great hand. One, two, three. I think this is good. I have to keep this for a moment. <laughs> Do we play on Trapper next turn? Nah. Do we play on Beam Me Up next turn? I don't even know. So no summoning? Backup Dancers is actually good against this deck, so we should play around that, it's most likely. Uh, Eureka and Telepathy usually just use. So I think I'm playing around Backup Dancers here. <laughs> you think? What the hell? No! No! Oh my gosh! Dear God! So this has five health now? I can, bruv. How do we do this? Show for two rain right now? This is gonna have four. Is there a way to get to four? And let the let the backup dancer hit our face, I guess? Oh, oh that's a tough play. I don't know what to do, bruv. This is, again, him spamming a million minions like this. I, he's going to run out of steam eventually. Read that like a book. But he, I, he has a bungee plumber. <laughs> oh, no. He gets four brains here. Watch him just chickening. He can chickening. There's no way he's running chickening in a mustache deck. He has a bungee, though. I probably should not have gone for that. I probably should have just developed my own heat and and let these exhaust. I don't like my position anymore, guys. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. We finally met our match. All right. Well, it's the first game we're coming into turn three with nothing happening for us here. PJ Salt. I mean, he's kind of out of steam. We should probably just... Should we do this one? I don't know. Uh, again, without double mustache waxer and then 
What the hell is he doing? <laughs> but that's he's out of steam already. I think we're gonna win now because these guys are only doing two damage. Let's just play in these two lanes now, bro. Um, yes. It plays into whatever we get here, but the, the main thing is gonna be the crow mech. Okay, it's running rig up there. That's bad. We might actually have to take out some of his minions now. Oh, oh boy. Um, so it looks like the banana bomb. Well, the the, the chromag could just go here. So it's chromag banana bomb. We forget about this for now. Or we can go double face with the crow. So this, maybe double face is the is the way here. And then we have another banana bomb for next turn. Oh, is killing us good? This is a really good trade, so it does open up an entirely other lane, which is probably what we need. We can also go after this right now. I'm, I'm, I'm taking I'm taking probably the riskiest route here, like the least direct to face route. But if we can win these two trades, which we do, we're in great shape. <laughs> we're in great shape. We we have if counting the cards we have in the field, we have a huge card advantage. We also have banana bomb is going to be really good against a. But that's a really good top deck too. This will definitely find value. I should not proc the block because of Eureka. We would need like a 2 and a 3 for that. Conman against a 4-2. He chickenings me here. What is this play? Why would this not go? Well, he's blocking face. Okay, that's probably actually a, a good sign. I don't think I'd play around chickening here. There's no way he's running chickening in a mustache deck. Why would he not go after a 3-1 though? Count damage. There's no way he's running ch I mean, is chickening the only way he can get- What is he gonna play on four? That will double bungee? He's probably running more but I mean, There's no way he has chickening, man. I mean, this die- This is a good field with no chickening, and this dies so hard to ch- I mean, anyway, this field dies chickening so hard. Um, I think because of how far ahead we are, and- how chickening is the losing hand? Okay, that makes sense. He would have should have actually gone after the mushroom. Oof, that's not a good fruit cake at all. Cause now it just gives more cards. That that fruit cake was the worst. That fruit cake was literally the worst thing that could they could have had. That was the worst card he could have had in his hand, for real. He doesn't do any. Doesn't prevent any damage here. He got rid of a one one attack guy. He got rid of one damage and just added it to this lane, and he gives us more cards. Um, yeah. I don't have anything with zero attack in this, right? Uh, Lojo Chances of getting a Gloom Shroom are <laughs> increasing here. Lojo <laughs> Jojo. So we always banana bomb this. Uh, probably Gloom Shroom. Looking pretty damn good. See it. There's more damage to face better. As eh, matter. This is all academic at this point. <laughs> the buff room is at two cost. Two, three, four, five, five worth of stats. <laughs> Man down. In terms of how much we, we dominated almost every single game, this was actually one of the easiest 10 and O's we've ever had. Jesus, man. I don't really know how to get the, the, the scorecard to say, oh, there you go. To like restart the score. There. 
It says 10 and 0 now. Everyone happy? I'm happy. This deck's cracked, man. I'm almost like get rid of Astro Shroom and Gloom Shroom and the deck even becomes better and run like Sonic Bloom or something. Yeah, but we beat that dancer guy. <laughs> he ran out of steam! He final missioned! He spent so many final missions killing like little minions. Half of one of our cards he's been playing cards on. And lo and behold, he ran dry. Even with three gifters, he was completely dry. Playing forever with this deck now. Yeah, I, 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 I think that the concept of this deck is incredible and it could be it'll even get better. It really depends on matchups and the banana bombs. Even the raptors were fine, but it almost feels like we could find better alternatives to them. Well, against control decks, the raptors are important. Anyway, guys, that was an incredible stream, obviously. Um, hell yeah, hell yeah. I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed. Buff Swarm, back to set one. Peace. <laughs> this is Fry.